Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. Today I'm going to have a different video. I'm going to be fulfilling a tag that I was tagged in. So if you guys are interested in hearing all of the questions answered that was in this wig tag that I was recently tagged in by Samora Love. If you guys haven't seen her and are interested in her, which I'm pretty sure you guys already know who she is, go ahead and check down in the description box below. I'll leave a link to her channel. She's amazing. She does hair reviews. She does like reality TV commentary, like keeping you guys up with the tea and all of that good stuff. She does a couple of like makeup reviews and some other stuff on her channel. So definitely check her out. I was recently tagged in her video. So let's just get started with these questions. If you guys are interested, keep interested. Just keep on watching. Come on! So the first question in the tag is why and when did you start wearing wigs? So my why is just I'm creative. I definitely love versatility. I love different styles. I love color. I love length. I love sh like short hair. I love curly. I love straight. I love wavy. I love it all. So obviously I don't have it all, but I can have it all. You know, if you put on a wig, you can have any look you want. You can achieve any style you're looking for. It's super fun and I just a great way to express myself and my creativity. Now, I did start wearing wigs just recently. I would say I started wearing wigs about two and a half years ago, two years ago, so super recently, and I love them. Like, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Super, super recent. I know it sounds crazy considering a lot of my videos on my channel are mostly wig reviews, but I have been brought up around wigs like pretty much all my life. My dad's mom actually wore wigs for like the entire time I've been alive. I've never really seen her wearing her own hair. So um, wigs were always like a, something that I would see on a daily basis and I kind of associated it with being like an older lady. So I kind of like steered away from wigs and just kind of always wanted to wear extensions and stuff. I know it sounds so crazy, but wigs have definitely come a long way since I was a girl um, compared to like now that I'm a woman. So just take that into consideration that wigs are not what they used to be. They are definitely like natural. If you can see here, I'm wearing a wig. This is one of my favorite um, units and it looks natural. I definitely will go out and have gone out with this hair. I just feel like back in the day when I was a younger girl, I was like, oh my God, wigs are for old people. So I guess it kind of took me a minute to come around to the idea, especially now, like I said, there's a lot more you can do to make them look natural. Back then they kind of looked like plastic, shiny, bulky, and just not real. I also wanted to mention that a majority of my adolescence I spent with my father. So I kind of just took care of my own hair and he didn't really let me do a lot like with nail polish or hair or anything like that so I just rocked my own natural hair I just wanted to show you guys a couple of pictures of how I looked when I was younger and the hairstyles I would rock <laughs> so the second question is what's the first wig you ever reviewed now the first wig I ever reviewed is Friday Night Hair GLS 41 I believe that's the first wig I ever reviewed I think that's even the first wig I ever purchased I want to say it might have been Trixie Trixie was super popular but I really believe that the first one I purchased was the Friday Night Hair GLS 41 and I love that unit I'll put a picture of me wearing it right here as well as the video right here in the cards and down in the description box below if you guys are interested in checking out that I got that wig because I seen Pretty P Collins wearing that wig on her freaking thumbnail sold me like and then when I seen it in her video I was sold I had to have it so thank you if you're watching this video girl I love that wig it, it was a great recommendation so the next question is how many wigs do you own currently just because I you guys know I do have a website where I sell some of the wigs that I get here and try out for you guys as well as some of the ones that I make or whatever and I do get rid of them, so I don't have all the wigs I've ever had, but right now, currently, sitting in my reading room and in my restroom shelf, 
I probably have at least 85 wigs, at least I would say. I could be, like it could be a little bit more, or a little less, but I doubt less. <laughs> I have so many wigs, a lot, majority of them are synthetic units. Um, I love synthetic units. The only thing is they they get um, messy faster than human hair wigs. And I don't know, I always gravitate back to my human hair wigs. Um, I don't know, I just have a lot of wigs in combination with synthetic and human, so that answers your question, I hope. I have a lot of wigs, too many. <laughs> Whew, short, medium, or long wigs, which one would I decide if I had to choose? Ugh, I honestly would have to say a long wig, you guys know me, I love long hair, I love 22 inches or longer, I loved like some length, like I live for the length. Um, Everybody compliments me in short hair, and I really do like how short hair looks on me, but like Samara said, it makes you look a little bit older depending on your face structure, and I personally feel like I look better with longer hair. I look younger. I look spicier. <laughs> I just prefer longer hair, so if I had to choose, I definitely would say longer hair. So the next question is, what is the worst wig you've ever tried on? And I honestly can't say that it was the worst wig. It was just the worst hair. So I created this unit from some hair. You guys seen the video. The damn hair was on fire. <laughs> it was it was a hot mess. Um, usually and from now on, I'm not even really going to be sharing with you guys hair or units that I don't like. Because I, I don't have the time to spend on promoting companies that I don't even like support or like the quality of their hair so that's kind of pointless to me um but I definitely would have to say um that unit I can't even remember the hair company it's so sad I don't even I don't even care I'll put the picture right here as well as the video right here so you guys can check out that video because that hair was like smoking on fire and that has to be the worst hair I've tried it wasn't a wig originally but I constructed it into <laughs> wig so it qualifies for this question so the next question is where do you purchase most of your wigs from and I have to be really honest with you guys I don't really purchase wigs a majority if not like 95% of my wigs were sent to me um, to review I don't usually purchase them but I have purchased when I do purchase from like uh, Sam's Beauty Friday Night Hair of course you guys know I purchased I've purchased at least one or two wigs from Friday Night Hair. I love their quality. They're probably like my favorite. Um, that's about it to be to be really honest with you guys. I have been blessed enough where I haven't had to purchase any of the units that I own. Um, like I said, all of them were pretty much sent to me. So the next question is, have you ever had any embarrassing moments with your wig? And yes, girl, let me tell you. <laughs> I've had... A couple of bad experiences I if you guys don't know I used to be like a well I'm I'm gonna tell you a story about that actually because I'm still kind of going through that whole situation with United Airlines but anyways United Airlines I used to work for them for a really long time and I decided one day I was gonna go ahead and I was gonna wear my wig to work girl because it was slain it was looking good and if you know that job can be like a high energy job at times like you can really be like running from gate to gate could be running from this place to that place y'all know I'm a sweater um this was kind of like when bold hold was not really like a thing it was more so got to be gelled in like the grace of God <laughs> working in your favor so a combination of that and like I mean, I didn't pray in the morning, I guess. I had my wig sliding back at gate number four, girl. It was looking horrible. We were boarding. There was just <laughs> a lot of people just staring at me. I'm over here scanning, 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 scanning. Nobody's saying anything. My coworkers are not saying anything. I'm over here talking about, you know, 1K members. Please make your way immediately to board a uh, flight so-and-so, you know, like talking, thinking I'm looking cute, everybody is watching me, you know, because I always come to work, like, 
with my makeup done, my hair done, you know, my nails are usually done, I usually look really presentable, you know, I kind of like pride myself on looking presentable, especially, you work in an airport girl, you could possibly see, like, some people that you know, so, I don't know, to me, I felt like I looked fine, and turns out, my wig was, like, back here, uh, nobody was saying anything, uh, it, I could feel a little bit of air, which is the reason why I was like, let me go take a little restroom break. But I guess all the combination of the sweat, the moving, the this, the that, I didn't really have combs in it. It was like all over the place. That's not like the only bad experience. I mean, I even have videos on here where my leg is literally lifting. So yeah, I've had some pretty, pretty bad experiences with wigs. I've had my wig get snagged on a fucking bush and the shit wasn't secure, came off to the left to the left. It was just bad. I have so many experiences. I actually should do a story time about one of the funniest experiences I've ever had with my wig, but I don't have time to tell you right now. So that's probably a video for another time. But yes, girl, I have definitely had a struggle with keeping my wig secure I think we all have had the struggle at one point in time if you're a wig wearer so I'm not embarrassed I'm not embarrassed everybody knows I got real hair under her anyway girl <laughs> okay so the next question is actually something that I think I'm going to talk about in the very near future just because this is something that I've been wanting to talk about and something that's been a learning experience slash like frustrating um is have I had any bad experiences or weird experiences with hair companies and yes definitely I have especially dealing with human hair wig companies or human hair companies you're nine times out of ten I want to say you're dealing with somebody um, overseas you're dealing with like somebody in China or wherever the hell they are and they don't necessarily speak the same language as you they're different time zones and just the communication overall is just uh, a challenge to get the job done and get the collaboration done. A majority of them don't have good grammar. I mean, I can understand that it's not their first language. I don't think I'd be, like, I'd be probably depending on, like, a trans, like, a word translator on the computer or something to be able to communicate with them in their language if I was. So I'm not going to knock anybody for not, um, like, knowing how to speak my language fluently, but I do feel like they have enough money that they can get somebody that's fluent with the language to at least give them, like, a sample letter and then just kind of switch out a few things because it's just horrible sometimes dealing with that. Now, I've had companies that I've had wig reviews. I even have videos on here that are just sitting there, um, just sitting there, and it's because you have this arrangement and it's not that I don't want to share with you guys the wig um because I don't always get sponsored for these units sometimes they just send them to me excuse me they just send them to me to review for you guys and you know these videos I hate when people try to make us feel bad about charging the companies to review their hair I've had people saying like oh wow you're only saying good things about it because you got paid and it's like no I would have never even got on here and shared any of this with you unless I was absolutely positive that you were gonna like it unless I was letting you know that it was bad quality I would never ever 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 recommend shitty hair to you guys because that's my name I'm recommending it to you guys you guys are gonna come back and blame me for the quality and I just don't have time for the unnecessary drama so why would I put that on myself just to promote a company that I'm not getting anything from other than some free hair that I can afford on my own or even if they were to give uh, you like a uh, compensation as far as like making the video goes it's not enough to ruin my reputation so I'm never gonna do that to you guys you guys don't ever have to worry about that but there are occasions where, you know, these videos do take time out of my day, take time away from my children. I do have to charge for some of these videos depending on what they are and how lengthy the video is and how long they're looking and what exactly they're looking for. So on occasions, I do get sponsored. I do let you guys know. And I've had instances where we've gone through the whole process. They sent me the unit. We've agreed on... Um, you know, price of the date of the video, time of upload, when it's going to be uploaded, what's going to be in the description box, all of these things and details that go into um, 
a collaboration that we don't always talk to you guys about because you guys are just honestly just here to see the quality of the hair and what we have to say about it but it's frustrating when you do all that work you get ready you film it I mean it takes me a, it takes me at least an hour to get ready and that's if I have my hair already done god forbid if I have to do my hair or something like that you know I have to set up my room I have to make sure I have my camera charged I have to do all of this all of this stuff costs money so I hate that I even have to explain myself because it should be kind of like common sense but I guess it's not because you guys are not the ones that are here doing this you guys are kind of just behind the scenes I mean like you guys are just behind the phone or the computer watching this so you don't really know what goes into creating this a lot goes into creating it and then actually getting it out to you guys and promoting it and everything so yeah you know in order for us to do this and be consistent and take out our personal time slash time that we would be making a, like a regular earning we do sometimes have to charge for this now that sucks when they don't follow through on their end now I've had companies that tell you yeah let's upload at this time you do it and they never ever ever pay you or they never communicate with you they never tell you like what's going on with the wig I've had I don't even know if I should say this. I'm gonna let I'm gonna contact Jess and I'm gonna tell her that I'm including this in the video and if she's okay with it, I will. But Jess the Dragoness, her and I have actually had a company that we we're working with together and I was charging them a certain fee and she was charging them a certain fee and they were basically telling me because she has a larger following than I do that my work wasn't worth what I was charging them, which I guess if you're going by social following, and I do use something to assist me with my prices, it's not like I just make up my prices out of nowhere. I do use social blue books so that I feel like I'm being fair on my end and they're being fair on their end. I'm not like overcharging, I'm not acting ridiculous with prices. So I do feel like I was being reasonable with my prices. Now she was being generous to them. And in the process, they end up disclosing her information to me. Now I think that's absolutely unprofessional and just crazy for them to even think that that was okay for them to disclose a personal agreement that they had um and when it included like money i don't think that's any of my business to know what she's charging them for a review and they disclosed that personal information to me i had to reach out and contact her and talk to her and let her know what they were doing we had to both contact them and let them know that they can no longer do that and now when we talk to businesses we have to disclose in our email that they are not allowed to disclose our personal agreement with any other influencer or anybody else without our consent. So it's kind of like that probably has to be one, if not the craziest experience I've had thus far dealing with companies. They can be extremely shady, especially when it comes to money. They want free promotion and they think I'm supposed to accept hair for it. I can't feed my kids with hair. I mean, it looks cute. I could probably take put the hair on and go get like a, a job on the boulevard or whatever. But like realistically, my kids can't eat off of hair. I'm not selling myself. So this isn't coming in and use other than just making me feel pretty. So like I said, that has to be probably the craziest experience is the fact that they sometimes won't even pay you, contact you after you do your review and they get what they want from you which is the reason why you should never upload your video until you have a full agreement with them unless you're dealing with a company that's super trustworthy um, or somebody that you've dealt with on numerous occasions that you can trust. So I definitely would give you tip number one. If you have not had the communication with the company as far as like it's okay they paid you you can post it don't post the video because they won't pay you and also make sure you're letting the company know that they are not to be disclosing your personal agreements with any other influencers because what they're charging has nothing to do with what i'm charging just that she wants to charge that amount and that's fine that's her pocket that's what she wants to do that's what she feels like her um worth is and I can't put a value on that and they can't put a value on my worth either so I just kind of felt like that was just super disrespectful so now the next question is what are your top three wigs of all time now I have a hard time with this just because I feel like this question should be like a little more specific but I guess it's it's just me overthinking it because 
this is a wig but I constructed it on my own now if you were to ask me period wigs I would definitely say this is my number one favorite wig of all time this is hair from fresh friend hair and beauty I constructed this um using some of their hair and a closure this hair was already like this hair already looked like this when it came it was already colored like this I just constructed the unit I've had this unit for over a year it's one of my favorites I wear her on a regular I love her I get so many compliments from her and I just I just love her I actually need to get another one I guess because this one I've had it for a while and it's not bad or anything I just feel like I wear it so often that like how much more am I going to be able to wear it you know what I mean but it's still good I still love it this is one of my favorites if I had to choose this is probably my top favorite of all of my wigs that I own my second favorite would have to be the GLS 56 I believe that's what it is it's like a curly a uh, long unit you guys have seen me wear it before I'll put it right here I love that unit I wear it all the time it's so beautiful Friday Night Hair if you're watching this please send me another one because she is getting so tangled now I've had her for quite some time and I just think she's so gorgeous I love her I always get compliments on her and she just looks freaking bomb on me I just love 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 her now the third wig that i'm gonna choose you guys are gonna be like girl these are human hair wigs but i don't know i just gravitate towards my human hair wigs it is going to be um a wig that i created from elore hair it was like a curly red unit i'll put it right here in the picture love 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 that hair like I absolutely love that hair you know what it's so hard for me to decide to be honest with you guys because there's so many wigs that I like that are like I consider like my favorites but then when you guys try to make me choose three it's like what would I ever do if I had to only wear three I think I'd be so depressed but I feel like I got a little bit of color I got a little bit of blonde and I got a little black in there so those would probably be my top three if I had to choose oh so if I had to choose three synthetic units, just synthetic, I definitely would say GLS 36. I don't know why I said 56 a minute ago. It's GLS 36. And then I would probably choose Trixie by Freetress Equal. I really love that wig. It's so pretty. Can't find it anywhere, but it's gorgeous. I still have it, and I hardly ever wear it just because I'm afraid that I'm going to ruin it. And I save it for, like, super hella special occasions <laughs> so yeah Trixie that would be number two and then I think number three oh this is so hard but I'm gonna say GLS 105 just because oh, or 41 I don't know I definitely would say Friday Night Hair they're definitely gonna take at least two spots out of the top three just because they're fucking bomb <laughs> So the next question is, what's your first video that went viral? And I think we all know this one for me is the Free Tris Equals Trixie wig. I don't know why all of you guys liked that. Well, not all of you guys because there is quite a few dislikes on that video. But I think it's because I was rambling and I was nervous. And it was like one of my first like hair reviews. I was like just nervous so I was trying to make every little detail leave it in the video I talk hella slow already like when I'm on a chill day so I think it was just like taking forever for me to get to the point pretty much everybody was feeling like that I guess and um but you guys like the wig overall and that video has over half a million views I don't know why half a million people wanted to look at that short hair wig video but hey I love it if I had a wig that embodied me, I definitely feel like it would look really similar to this. Um, I feel like personally, I like blonde hair. I like like a lighter hair, but I do feel like I need the dark root. I get so many compliments. I get so many likes on my pictures whenever I'm wearing like this kind of style or this color, even if it's like all blonde from the top and just like a darker root I usually get a lot of compliments when I'm wearing blonde and I personally love blonde hair um, it's just a struggle to try to keep it the right shades for my skin tone so I love wigs because you can just take them off you don't have to worry about 
um, all the discoloration. You can tone them here and here and there. I've only had to tone this one time since I've had it. So I definitely feel like it would look similar to this, just in a curly style, so that I was able to straighten it out. But um, I definitely feel like it would look very similar to this, just a little bit more versatility as far as like changing up the pattern. Maybe it could be curly so I could straighten it and whatnot. So now this next question is, what do you think of the YouTube wig community slash wig community in general? And my answer for this would be, I think they're all pretty much amazing. I haven't had any bad experiences with any of my fellow wig reviewers, I guess you would call it, my fellow wig reviewers. I haven't had any bad experiences. Unfortunately, I live in California, like Southern California. I don't really have much interaction with other YouTubers because of the area I live in. I live close to LA, I guess, like a couple hours away. Um, but I don't live like five minutes away or like near people that are doing the same thing as I, uh, to be honest with you. A majority of the girls seem like they're on like the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. So I don't know. I think everybody for the majority, like for the majority of the people that I've met, like Samara, um, and I'm not saying like I've met them in person, but I have conversations via like social media or whatever, or even on the phone, like Jess the Dragoness, um, Cakes and Hearts, uh, Nighty, Hearts and Cakes Nighty, sorry. Um, she's awesome. We talk frequently. We might even be having a collaboration coming up soon for you guys. We'll see about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think they're all pretty amazing. I love their energy. I love the information they, they give. Um, I just wish we could all come together a little bit more and maybe like, I don't know, do something amazing. I just feel like it's a really nice community to be a part of and I love it and I learned so much from them and I just encourage them to keep on going and I hope they all find success, the same success I'm looking for. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just wish we would all help each other grow, see more, a little bit more collaborations amongst our community because it seems like there's a lack thereof and that's the only thing that I don't like about the community is I wish that we would come together a little bit more and collaborate. Um, you have your girls like Just the Dragoness and stuff like that who, or people like that who definitely um, like to see other people winning want to see other people growing and I've heard that firsthand from her mouth and like seeing her doing um, her part in this community so I really 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 like being a part of this community. I just wish we could come together a little bit more frequently. Overall guys, I had so much fun with this tag. I do want to thank Samora Love for tagging me. I'm going to leave her information down in the description box below. I'm pretty late to this tag, so I'm pretty sure everybody else has been tagged already. I'm going to leave everybody that she tagged down in the description box below for you guys. Just so you guys, if you haven't got to it and were tagged in there and just didn't know, you guys can do it too. If you guys are not even tagged in this and you guys want to do this, I definitely encourage you. It's super fun and it'll just, you know, let us know a little bit more about you and your wig experiences. So I do want to thank Samara for tagging me in this. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this community, you guys. I love you. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing all these amazing things that I've been experiencing these last couple of years. So I do want to thank you guys for all your support. You don't know what it means to me. I can't even express it into words. And I kind of feel like a cornball even trying. So I just want to get out of here. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know if you guys want more talk through videos like this um, instead of just like me getting ready and stuff like that to get a little bit more information about me as far as like my personal life goes and stuff like that. If you guys are interested, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the description, I mean the comment box below. Everything you guys need to know about the questions will be down in the description box below. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I usually don't make videos like this. If you guys are interested in checking out some of my usual content, feel free to check out some of my last videos. Also follow me on Instagram at I am Sasha Fierce 411. Bye guys.